Okay, in this video we're going to have a look at angles. At the moment we're playing everything encoded from the uh, third person angle, but we don't necessarily need to stay with that. So, as in the previous ones, I'm going to go to load world, go back onto my test world. If I press escape, I can go into editing. Now, one of the ways I can do this, my character's the flying fish. So I'm going to go back onto object tool. I'm going to right click on, click on program. And within the coding, I'm going to say that when, and I want this always to happen. So we're going to say when, and then go to always. Then what I want to happen is I want the view to be set to the first person. You can also change it to follow or ignore. So I'm going to go to first person and press escape. And watch how I'm going to press play this time. This time, instead of watching from a different angle, I'm now seeing out of the eyes of the fish. And that might be an angle you prefer. If it's not an angle you prefer, you can still do the same thing. You go back and you can right click to get rid of this. Cut the tile. You can choose ignore, you can change it to follow. Which is basically what we had to start with. And change it around like that. There is an alternative though. So if we haven't done that, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to clear that bit of coding. Then there's actually options within the settings here. So if we go down to the change world settings here, there's a few different things we can have. And one of them here is we can have it either set in a specific position so the camera doesn't move. So for instance, you're set far back and you're watching it. You can have it set at a fixed offset so it stays the same well, the same uh, distance away from your main character or free so the player who's playing it can move it around. So let's just try that for a second. If I go to fixed, press escape, and press play, you'll see this time as I move my character around, the camera stays perfectly still. And that might be useful for some games. For mine and then that's quite an annoying position we can choose fixed offset do the same thing this time we stay the same distance apart and even if i scroll i can't get closer or further away if i go to the free camera which is what we we're on before and i press escape and i press play this time i can move around just like on the previous one but if i use the scroll button on my mouse i can get much closer if that's what i want so there's options within here. There's actually a few other options. So you can start by setting uh, your camera in a particular position. So for instance, maybe we always want the camera to be over here at the start, maybe back a bit, and then press enter. And then this time, if I press play, the camera will always start here, but then I can zoom in and I can control my character. But if I press escape, it takes me back to the starting position. So we can start to use these programming tools a little bit here to make the game start in the way we actually want it to do. So again, as in the previous ones, I'm going to save my world. I'm not going to change any of the details here. I'm going to press save, go back to the house, and exit to the main menu. 